Chairman Stephen Perry, Lord Livingston, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is always a great pleasure for me to join you at Icebreaker's Chinese New Year dinner. I want to thank the 48 Group Club for being such a generous host. 60 years have a very special meaning in China. It concludes an old historic period and starts a new one. It means building on the past and looking ahead to the future. To celebrate this milestone, Premier Li Keqiang has sent a message of congratulations to Chairman Stephen Perry. In the message, Premier Li said, six decades ago, with outstanding courage and exceptional foresight, Mr. Jack Perry and other icebreakers of older generation overcame obstacles of all sorts and opened the door of trade links between China and Britain and even the entire Western world. Inspired by the icebreaker spirit, later generations of our countries have been fully committed to China-UK economic cooperation and cultural exchanges. These endeavors have greatly advanced overall China-UK relations. I met with the young icebreakers during my UK visit in 2011. I was deeply impressed with their vigor and energy, as well as their determination to increase British people's understanding of China and strengthen China-UK cooperation. This year also marks the 10th anniversary of China-UK Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. Thanks to the support of 48 Group Club and the various social sectors of both countries, China-UK relationship has made encouraging progress. Not long ago, I had a successful meeting with Prime Minister David Cameron in Beijing. We reached a broad consensus on pushing forward bilateral relationships and expanding practical cooperation. We have agreed to further enhance political mutual trust and increase cultural and people-to-people -people exchanges. We also identified the priority areas for our cooperation these include nuclear energy, high-speed railways, finance, and high technology. I'm confident that all this will provide strong support to the long-term sound development of China-UK relations. China and the UK working together will benefit our two peoples and contribute to global peace and development. The above is the message by Premier Li Keqiang. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 48 Group Club's sixth decade is only one chapter in the annals of China-UK relations, but it is undoubtedly the most splendid chapter. In the six decades, the 48 Group Club and his pro prototype, the 48 Group, witnessed all the key landmarks in China-UK relations. The upgrade from strategy affair to the ambassador relationship, the resolution of Hong Kong issue, and the launch of comprehensive strategic partnership. Over these years, the 48 Group Club has been deeply involved in China-UK cooperation in political, economic, cultural, and educational exchanges. It is fair to say that over the past six decades, you have weathered through both rain and shine in China-UK relations. As Shakespeare said, what's past is a prologue. Our relations have now come to a fresh start. We face great opportunities 
never seen before. Let me give you some examples. Last year, our bilateral trade hit a new record high, and for the first time, passed 70 billion US dollars. And especially what he's especially mentioning is British export to China increased by 13.8 percent, much higher than China's other EU trading partners. Chinese investment in Britain in, re in recent two years reached 13 billion US dollars. This figure exceeded the total of the previous three decades. Our two countries have signed a number of contracts with a combined value of nearly one billion pounds. The first RQ fee fund has been launched in London Stock Exchange. The Bank of China's London branch issued 2.5 billion RMB bonds in Britain, the largest of any such issue. The CBBC hosted its very successful and high-profile 2014 China Business Conference. Financial Times described this conference as a pep rally for British business contingents to march into Chinese market. China-UK cooperation is not limited to economics only. Remarkable progress have been made in cultural and people-to-people -people exchanges. This first month of 2014 has set a cracking pace. The first China-UK media forum was held in London, and classic Chinese dance drama Silk Road was performed in London. Then, the long-awaited season three of BBC drama Sherlock was broadcast <laughs> simultaneously in China and in UK in response to enthusiasm of thousands of fans in China, and thanks to Prime Minister's kind offer to pass the message. You know, Prime Minister offered that he will convey the message of Chinese fans. On the New Year's Day, Shulao was broadcast with the Chinese subtitles on Youku and other online video websites. This is the very first time that the British TV drama have been shown in Britain and China at the same time. I can tell you that that really thrilled the Chinese viewers. Cultural exchanges as such not only increased mutual understanding between our two countries, but also secured strong public support for our bilateral relations. According to Chinese calendar year, will usher in the year of the horse in just a few days, in fact, in just 10 days from now. In Chinese language, there are many auspicious idioms with the word horse. For example, yi ma dang xian means taking the lead, like the winner horse at a race. Kuai ma jia bian means riding whip and spur. Last one, ma dao cheng gong means speedy success, like a galloping horse. I hope after this dinner, they will all remember this Chinese idiom <laughs> relating to home. Inspired by horses galloping to success, I do hope that in the coming year, you will seize opportunities of business cooperation with China. I wish all of you present, especially the business leaders, an early and speedy success in the year of the horse. For 48 Group Club, I have another Chinese idiom relating to horse, that is, Lao Ji Fu Li Zhi Zai Qian Li. Be patient, I have an English translation for that. <laughs> a veteran steed in the stable is still capable of heroic exploits.
I have no doubt that the 60-year-old 48 Group Club will win fresh honor by composing new chapters of friendship and cooperation for China-UK relations. In conclusion, I wish all of you present tonight a very happy and prosperous and successful year of the horse. Thank you.